Hello and welcome to Spinortality, a cyberpunk management sim that I spent the last three years making. I'm James Patton, I'm a one-person indie developer, and I just wanted to show you uh, maybe the first ten minutes of the game so you know what to expect. Uh, I think I'll pick this icon for my maker corporation, it seems nice. That is my name, and I'll just randomly pick... actually this is not dissimilar to my current hairstyle. Um, we'll start on easy difficulty. The board of directors are calling. So the board of directors, uh, I'll just skip through this. They basically say that, uh, just skipping the tutorial there, that they want you to run this company, which I've called Evil Corp. Uh, and your ultimate goal, well, your first goal is just to make money. You, you want to research things like meta friendship, which is Metacritic for friendship, or you want to launch a social media website, or you want to develop genetic manipulation, uh, and then you can sell those things and you can make money and, you know, so far so capitalism. But uh, their ultimate goal is that you research all the way down here, past death prediction, past Project Frankenstein, all the way to brain transfer. And once you've developed that, then you have researched biotech and you've researched artificial human bodies and stuff to the point where you can actually transfer your brain into a new body. And uh, then you can give the board new bodies forever and they will never die and you'll all become immortal and run the world in a happy little cabal. So that sounds fun, doesn't it? But uh, that's quite a long way off. For the moment, we are just going to concern ourselves with the top row here. So, which of these five things do I want to research? I'm going to research social media for two reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, it's nice and quick. It only has a labor cost of 10. That means that you can research it quite quickly. Uh, it could even be finished in one turn. But the other advantage is that uh, wherever I launch it, I get plus 5% media power. You don't need to worry about that for now. But basically, media power is useful for manipulating people and manipulating culture. So I'll just end the turn there. Uh, so we have a random event. These events pop up uh, every turn. And they had to be dealt with before you can move on. So there is a risky research opportunity. Our scientists have identified a new line of research Pursuing it would yield research gains, but would put a strain on the company. I think we can take the plunge. We'll get some research points. We also gain inefficiency. That's here. And that basically means that, that uh, sometimes projects will not progress. But I'll, uh, we, we can deal with that later. It's not a big issue. So thankfully, um, we already finished social media. And we got a research boost in posting tips. So uh, that, that's the research boost there, this little line. It's about a third done. Um, so social media has been completed. And uh, as you can see, the icon here has changed and it's a different color. That's because we've now researched how to like build the infrastructure to do social media. But uh, we have not yet thought about how to market it. Uh, we have one marketing angle. It is never alone but uh, there are four more that we could discover. And these marketing angles will help us to, um, to successfully launch this product in as many nations as possible. So I've assigned all my workers to this, to this problem. So there's now a 94% chance this turn that they will come up with a solution. So that's quite high. Um, and yes, I think I'm just going to hire some more workers and then I'm gonna end the turn and I'm gonna let our little think tank there try to think of, of ways to sell social media to people. So, I've ended the turn. Uh, the think tank was successful. There's now two. The first one is stay up to date, and we already had never alone. So I think that's good enough to get started. Uh, deal with that later. Uh, so, how can, we, how can we use these things in order to sell our products and start making money? Well, uh, this is a nation. Uh, in the future, by the way, all nations have kind of combined into these massive, stagnant political superstates. Um, so the nation of North America really likes novelty. It's like everyone always wants to go out and buy the latest iPhone, the latest devices or whatever. And they really like quality, so they like luxury goods. They'd much rather have something that's good and solid 
and beautiful than something that's that's sort of cheap and easy. Um, but they don't really care too much about uh, individualism versus collectivism. They don't really feel like they're part of a collective um, like nation, but they also don't really feel like that like they as individuals are more important than everyone else. They they're just sort of in a middle ground here. So let's take a look at these. Um, let's start with stay up to date. So let's read the marketing angle. Uh, tech is always changing. New tech, new services, new products. Welcome to the cutting edge of social media. So I think that this this seems to appeal to someone who wants to always be at the cutting edge of technology. So this would appeal to a novelty culture. So I'm going to launch it here. So hopefully when, I, when I've ended the turn, uh, it will have launched very successfully in this pro-novelty culture. Uh, before I can do that, I need to take care of this. Our employees are not particularly happy. I'm going to give them a bit of money, and now they'll be a little bit happier. I'm also going to assign all of my new interns who just arrived to um, the social media project. So now I might get more than one, uh, more than one marketing angle per turn. By the way, the the, one, the guys with the little sweat beads here are interns because uh, they're always stressed all the time, and these are our employees. Uh, interns are cheap but unreliable. Employees are more expensive but a bit more reliable. So we're ending the turn. My ultimate goal is to to make money to start making a profit. By the way, this is our uh, these are our expenses down here. So we're, we're still losing money, but I hope that will change soon. Uh, oh, we, there's a social media opportunity. Uh, basically, this asks: Do you want to uh, to show people things that they already like on social media? But that might create a sort of social media echo chamber effect where people are only exposed to things they like. Or do you want to to try and counteract the um, the echo chamber effect so that people can uh, are exposed to views that are different to their own? Um, so I'm going to be evil and show users more of what they like because it will allow us to make more money. Unfortunately, Russia is now more xenophobic. But that doesn't matter. Oh, and, and of course, our social media has launched successfully, so that's great. And it was very successful. I was right about the novelty thing. So, um, I think our next task, I'll leave everyone on here, because I think uh, they're doing a good job there. And uh, I'm just going to, to try launching uh, this everywhere that I can. Okay, so I know that Stay Up To Date appeals to novelty cultures. There we go. So that's not novelty. That's that they like novelty. That's great. Uh, they like novelty, and they like novelty. Okay, so we've already got quite a lot of of different places that uh, that like novelty that will appeal that will that, that will be sort of vulnerable to their marketing angle. Um, oh, this one is nice. One world. The people of the world are complex, different, and beautiful. Welcome to the one place they all hang out. So this is like if you're on social media. Isn't it wonderful that all of these beautiful, diverse, unusual people are here too? Isn't that great? So that appeals to multiculturalism. So I'm going to launch that here. Um, oh, and this one, Never Alone. We're never alone. We're our friends, our family, our lovers. Let us help bring you together. This appeals to collectivism because it's about uh, do you feel part of a group? So we'll launch that here. And of course, I, I already know these because I, I wrote the game. Um, if you uh, did not write the game, which is, you know, most of the world's population, then you'd have to, to read the text and try and guess. Or you could perform a focus test where you, you use up some resources, uh, but you do get to kind of cheat and see what, uh, what culture this appeals to. So there's an option for people who don't want to do too much reading. Uh, but I think... We're all done there. Oh, I have some more employees. So I'm just going to put them on the job too. That should hopefully uh, exhaust our our marketing angle need. Okay. Um, oh, so th this is a, a part of the game that I haven't dealt with yet. But basically, this is do I want to connect with military people who might later help me take down nations? Do I want to connect to... Uh, like media and celebrity people who might help me with politics or with with sort of promotional stuff 
or do I want to connect with hackers who might help me hack into rivals and so on? Um, I think I'm going to to connect with uh, media moguls and celebrities. I think that sounds best. Oh, and uh, okay, mm, I didn't. Okay, so my launch in in Europe and the Middle East was actually not very successful. That's a shame. But let's try launching post 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 and never been easier. Never been easier is. Friendships are time-consuming. In the busy 21st century, it can be hard to make time for them. Let us make it easier. Um, this appeals to convenience. When you don't really care how luxurious something is, but you just uh, you just want something easy. And this one is post, post, post. It's never been a better time to promote yourself. Get posting. That appeals to publicity, like in Russia. Okay, so now every nation has um, will soon have social media which is good because we're spreading the tendrils of power across the world. Uh, this is a, a little mission that the board of directors have given us. Um, I think for the moment I'm just going to re take care of our inefficiency because I was a bit worried about that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put everyone on, on that mission. The mission was to research AI workers. So hopefully next turn we'll have that. So. I hope this was a useful uh, look at the first 10 minutes of Spin Mortality. Um, this is just the start of the game, obviously. Down the line, you will be... Um, we haven't even seen the politics tab, gosh. Uh, later down the line, you will be um, maybe supporting rebel groups to overthrow one-party states. Or maybe you'll be, I don't know... Uh, bribing politicians to, to deregulate industries so that you can launch more horrible products there. Maybe you'll be trying to um, buy up shares to control the media, kind of like uh, building your own media empire. Um, and if you are particularly sadistic, you could even start some riots in order to push a nation all the way into chaos and then found your own puppet state from the ashes. Um, but that's all in the future. For now, uh, this company is just going to be trying to make ends meet. So uh, that was the first 10 minutes of Spin Mortality. Uh, it's currently on Steam and on itch.io. And I'll put a link in the description.